There's a few questions that I just want to pop off to you before we sort of wrap up today. Um, so let me get into it. Um, <clears throat> what's the one thing that you love playing, uh, love, love about playing professional football? I would say just the social aspect of it. Like the amount of people and the amount of friends I've met from all over the world just from playing football. Yeah. It's mad. Like if I if I was to stop playing, obviously I'd miss act- actual playing, but I'd miss just like the banter in the changing yeah, yeah, room, yeah, like yeah. the banter on the, the field, like just, yeah, that's what I'd miss the most. And that's what makes football football. Yeah, yeah. Like just being able to enjoy it and joke about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I love the most. Wicked. Um, and make yeah, making them relation, making relationships with people through through like making relationships with people by doing something you love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and what would a tip? What would be a tip that you would give to somebody um, that is going through a tough time? How would you, how would you advise that they get through? through it because you've been through the tough times what would you what would the advice be i'm not gonna say don't give up because it's just easy to say yeah yeah yeah. um just obviously look back on (coughs) what you've been doing and look back on what you've done to to make you get to this point yeah and just think is it worth throwing all that away yeah for how you're feeling in this temporary state because this feeling is not going to last forever Mm -hmm. like you can't make a rash decision based on a temporary emotion because that that emotion is not going to last forever yeah 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 and you'll look back on it and you'll be like i probably could have stuck with that yeah 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 so yeah brilliant that's That's very powerful thank you very much for that that's wicked um what's the one thing that you dislike about playing um about playing professional football I have to work. <laughs> no, so joking. that's at the moment. That's at the moment. That's now. That's so that's now. now where you are at the moment. Because obviously I've been, I've been, I've, I'm live, I've lived both sides of it now. Yeah. I've lived like where I don't have to work. I'm just going training. Yeah. And I'm living now where you're but, working. But at well. the same time, when I'm just training, I'm bored. Like, cause I go training, I come home, I'm like, right now, what do I do? I've got to fill up the rest of my day. Yeah. So. But you haven't done that in England, though. True. So now That's where you've got true. all of your people around and yeah, stuff. it could be different. But then all my friends work as well. My friends work a nine to five, so it's not like. But if you got promoted, mm. if you lot got promoted, you were saying that the regulations and stuff. Would well, it dictate. probably would be like a nine to five because you'd you'd go in for breakfast, have training, then have lunch, and probably have like meetings after. So yeah. it probably would. So much it would dictate like so, you, so you wouldn't be able to juggle work and playing in the WSL, would you? Mm, nah, but there's some girls that do bits on the side, yeah. like personal training and stuff like that. Okay, all right. Um, what training tips would you give to any young, young aspiring footballers? Mm, just coming from me personally, always work on your weak foot because I've never done that. Okay. I'm left footed and I'm very left footed. Uh, like, I hate you. I hate <laughs> you people. <laughs> like I'll I can control and pass yeah. with my right foot, but yeah. nah, not shooting, not crossing, none of but that. That's all left footers though. None yeah, of you left footers true. can use your right foot. Oh, no, man, but fair bad. play to you for saying that. that's a great tip <sighs> for bad. our for our listeners and our watchers. That's a great tip there. Um uh da, 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 da. yeah, what's the highest point? What's been the highest point of your career so far? Even though it was a bad experience, I would say winning, like getting promoted with Malaga. Like yeah. just because obviously finishing in America, going straight pro. Yeah. And then you and know, like being pro- in part being part of a team who gets promoted. Yeah. And like winning that game, playing that ninety minute game and winning the game that gets you promotion, like the feeling was mad. Right, so you played in the yeah, game nine yeah. minutes. That, ooh. that was when you decided you wanted to play me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, so, it was. So you um, actually heavily contributed to yeah, the promotion as so well. So it was. So we won the league, and then in order to get promoted, you have to play 
like promotion game. So it'd be like Oh, is it? So there's like four divisions yeah. and then each team who wins their division, division plays, plays against each other yeah, and then yeah. the team who wins that goes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um so yeah. sort of like a cup final, yeah. semi final. But it works final. in like a um like a group thing. So it works on points. So oh. just whoever gets the most points okay. gets promoted. Okay, okay. So yeah, I would say that hundred percent. Wicked. Now I think I we already know maybe what the answer is gonna be here, but what's the lowest point that you've had in football? <laughs> Yeah, I would say, yeah, being in Spain as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've already covered yeah. that. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, what advice would you give to a ten-year-old Siobhan Wilson? I'm trying to think what I was even doing when I was ten. <coughs> um, that's a hard question, you know. Mm. Put me on the spot there. <laughs> Well, you've uh, got a lot of gems and you've given us and our listeners and our viewers a lot of gems. So I guess it probably I would, would just say just enjoy life and don't take it too serious. Yeah. And I that's try not to do that now, but. And you know what? That's It's funny that you say that because I think it's whilst that sounds very basic mm. or cliche, but it's quite important yeah. because, you know, I was speaking to a friend yesterday and I was saying that there's a lot of power power in just having a laugh mm. every day mm. which is especially when you get older and the stresses of life it can be quite difficult yeah. for you to actually yeah. some you can some people can look back and be like right when was the last time i actually laughed you know yeah. what i mean so yeah i think there's a lot of um that that statement in, in itself is quite powerful you know mm. don't take life too serious and just enjoy yeah. it you know 